Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Zahana Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Minister of Youth and Sports Affairs and, in the presence of the first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the Public Sports Authority, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Zahana Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the silver medal winner of the national athletics team, Kal Kidan, in the final of the 10,000 meter race of the 32nd edition of the Tokyo 2020 Olympic Games. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stressed that the achievement in the Olympic Games was the fruit of the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for the sports movement in Bahrain. His Highness underlined the care of His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Crown Prince and Prime Minister, for the participation of Bahraini athletes in various tournaments which contributed to their achievement of many achievements. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa praised the great and distinguished efforts made by His Highness Sheikh Khalid for backing Bahrain's participation during the Olympic Games. He wished the team further success in serving the youth sector in the kingdom. Council of Representative Speaker Fawzia bin Abdullah Zainal extended congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the 20th anniversary of the Supreme Council for Women. She also extended deep, deep thanks and gratitude to His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Crown Prince and Prime Minister, on this occasion and for the government's projects, initiatives, and plans and programs to support the advancement of Bahraini women. Zainal also extended sincere congratulations to Her Royal Highness Princess Abika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, wife of the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, noting the remarkable progress achieved by Bahraini women and their great contributions both locally and internationally. She affirmed the Council's continued support for the plans and programs of the Supreme Council for Women and the effective and fruitful cooperation between the two Councils for the benefit of Bahraini women, the nation and citizens. Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh Saleh valued the role played by the Supreme Council for Women in supporting the March of Bahraini Women to continue their contributions to national progress. Marking the 20th anniversary of the Supreme Council for Women, Saleh extended his sincere congratulations to Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, wife of the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, praising the attention paid by Her Royal Highness to the advancement of women in Bahrain in various fields. He expressed his pride in the achievements of the Supreme Council for Women, which reflected positively on the status of the Kingdom of Bahrain in international forums. The Ashura Council Chairman praised the continued cooperation between the Supreme Council for Women and the Legislative Authority to enact legislation and laws supporting Bahraini women and the family in order to achieve an equal partnership to build a sustainable, competitive society. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Assam bin Abdullah Khalaf, affirmed that the King Ahmed Award for Agricultural Development in its fourth session will contribute to enhancing food security projects in the country by addressing a number of important access in the comprehensive agricultural development process. The Minister praised the generous initiative of Her Royal Highness Princess Abika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, wife of His Majesty the King and Chair of the Advisory Council for the National Initiative for the development of the agricultural sector and launching the King Hamad Award for Agricultural Development with the aim of creating a positive competitive environment between agricultural entrepreneurs, farmers and researchers in agricultural sector. At the same time, the minister noted the continued support provided by the wife of His Majesty the King and her keenness to develop the agricultural sector in the country. He stressed that the ministry will spare no effort to support this generous initiative through continued coordination between the various authorities concerned with developing the agricultural sector and increasing its contribution to food security in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Kingdom of Bahrain, with strong determination to prohibit and actively prevent money laundering and the financing of terrorism, deploys the highest operating standards and laws to ensure that all its activities are undertaken within the legal parameters. With the aim to maintain the highest standards to safeguard the interest, Bahrain established an anti-money department to combat money laundering, the financing of terrorism and any other related financial crimes through continuous updates to our procedures 
systems, technology, staff training and effective supervision. Going forward with its mission, the Kingdom supports all the major anti-money laundering and counter-financing of terrorism recommendations and programs of the Financial Action Task Force, the FATF and United Nations. Bahrain is one of the members of the Cooperation Council for the Arab States of the Gulf, the GCC, which is a member of the FATF. Bahrain is also a member of the regional MENA FATF. Meanwhile, the Kingdom of Bahrain is closely following developments of events in Afghanistan, expressing its hope that all parties will commit to establishing the internal situation and to protecting the lives of civilians and the rule of law. In a statement, the Foreign Ministry stated that the Kingdom of Bahrain, based on its moral obligations as a dedicated member of the international community, contributes along with global partners by supporting humanitarian relief efforts in Afghanistan that facilitate safe evacuations and will be allowing flights to make use of Bahrain's transit facilities before reaching their final destination. The ministry affirmed that the Kingdom of Bahrain is a committed partner within the international community and places great importance on human solidarity. The permanent representative of the GCC countries in Geneva convened their periodic meeting at the headquarters of the GCC mission in Geneva. Bahrain's permanent representative to the United Nations office in Geneva, Ambassador Dr. Youssef Abdelkarim Bouchiri, chaired the meeting. During the meeting, the ambassadors discussed early preparations to participate in the special session to be held by the United Nations Human Rights Council, the UNHCRC, on, human in, on situations of the human rights in Afghanistan on Tuesday, August the 24th, with the aim of developing a common GCC vision, coordinating the unified GCC position, and consulting on the draft resolution to be issued during this emergency session. The Supreme Judicial Council has announced that a restorative justice court for children will start working tomorrow, Sunday, pursuant to the provisions of Law No. 4, 2021, on the promulgation of the Restorative Justice Law for Children and their protection from maltreatment, which came into force on August the 18th. A higher court and a lower court will be responsible for examining crimes committed by under-18 children. They will give top priority to the child's interest in all rulings, decisions, and procedures related to them, regardless of the authority that issues or executes them. The law stipulates that child victims or witnesses at all stages of investigation and trial shall have the right to be heard, have their demands understood, and be treated in a manner that preserves their dignity and ensures their physical, psychological, and moral integrity. They shall also have the right to protection, health, social, and legal assistance, rehabilitation, and integration into society. In addition, to the aforementioned rights guaranteed during all stages of arrest, investigation, trial and verdict execution, child suspects shall also have the right to obtain all information about the charges leveled against them with the assistance of an interpreter whenever needing whenever need arises. They shall also have the right to all forms of legal and judicial assistance in addition to a lawyer of their choice or appointed by the court to defend them at the trial stage in line with the rules stipulated in the Code of Criminal Procedures. The National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus COVID-19 today announced it will conduct a study to determine the effectiveness of booster shots for individuals fully vaccinated with Sputnik. Individuals who received the second dose of their vaccine over six months ago may participate in the trial by opting for a Pfizer, BioNTech or Sputnik V booster shot. Eligible individuals who are interested in participating within the study can register through healthalert.gov.ph or the Be Aware Bahrain application. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,130,698 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,075,461 had taken the second, and 234,863 had taken the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. 
The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 1,085 with 126 recoveries, 79 registered new cases and no deaths. 30 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 40 are contact of active cases and 9 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.